Today's Wednesday, May 3rd, 2023. I'm David Landry, just the market in Mexico. Well, peace on our family hard yesterday. Not the end of the world, but it does have them stalling at the prior little peaks in here. Off their worst levels, we're still down 1%. Nonetheless, let's take a look at the NASDAQ educated NASDAQ composite. Same sort of action happening there, too. It's too stalling at these prior peaks. Ideally, you know me, I like to see break out and not look back. Rusty still lags in here, as you can see, getting whacked about 2% yesterday. Office worst levels were still down 2%. Nonetheless, wide and loose and sideways, possibly forming a complex head and shoulders bottom. But that appears to be a process and not an event. Speaking of events, take a look at energies. Bam, got whacked yesterday, as you can see on the cusp of breaking down out of this wide and loose sideways range. Avoid these guys for now. We could see some short setting up there fairly soon. Some areas like foods and drugs hanging in there. Other areas are like the banks getting whacked, as you can see, beginning to try to roll back over. So that's a bit of a concern. We'll have to keep an eye on that situation there. Semiconductor is also looking kind of questionable in here. As you can see, they've rolled over bow tie to the downside. Not the end of the world. One or two big updates would fix that, but obviously that would have to happen. So what do we do? Well, mostly sit on your hands. I'm seeing a setup here and there, but really for the most part, not much to do. Let things shake out. Also, it's Fed Day. Any questions, as usual, Dave, Dave, I'm Dave Landry. You sir, welcome to the day.